Mohammed Hadi Al Harmali is in his 80s. He's been uprooted four times by the shifting front lines of Yemen's civil war. Out of money and bedridden, he's now confined to a tent in a makeshift camp outside Marib city, east of the capital Sana'a. Winter has come and we have children, large families, poor families. They need blankets, mattresses, shelters and ways to keep warm, blankets and bedding. They need tents and they need places to live. Of the estimated one million displaced people in Marib city, 80 percent are women and children. Aid agencies say the humanitarian needs far outstrip the capacity on the ground. The city has crowded camps, an overstretched public service and healthcare system, and an increasingly vulnerable host community. If you receive 200 to 300 patients and all the patients need full free services, this leads to big pressure on the hospital, especially with the lack of medicines. Medicines are in great demand, in addition to laboratory solutions for examinations and other things. World powers have struggled to engineer the truce needed to revive talks to end the conflict that has displaced millions and left them with little or no food. As winter settles in, doctors say they have reached breaking point and are concerned about the rising number of flu and COVID-19 cases. There's a high demand amid weak and scarce capabilities of the hospital to treat patients, especially as we are ahead of winter, and in this season, the diseases increase very significantly. As it is well known, displaced people live in camps, and this leads to an increase in the number of cases, especially in the current stage. Aid workers warn an escalation of violence in Marib could lead to further displacement. They are urging governments and leaders around the world to help the people of Yemen. Hamera Chaudhry, Al Jazeera.